Our last frost date is still three weeks away, but we're already planting frost-sensitive summer crops outside. Today I'll share seven summer crops that we're planting now under cover. In my last video, I planted cool weather crops six weeks before our average last frost date, and those crops are already growing and doing very well. When planting under cover, my rule of thumb is to plant as much as three weeks earlier than normally recommended when planting under a single layer like a cold frame or low tunnel, and as much as six weeks earlier under two layers like a cold frame inside the hoop house. Let's start by planting pole beans, which I normally don't plant outside until a week after our last frost date, but I'll plant them four weeks earlier than that in the hoop house inside this low tunnel. I'm planting Trianfo Violetto pole beans in the spaces between these lettuce plants. This is a good example of succession planting while the previous crop is still in the ground. The lettuce will be harvested within the next few weeks, just in time for the beans to take off. We'll vent our protective structures as needed to prevent overheating, and we'll completely remove the cover from the low tunnel later this month and the hoop house in May. And with the cover off, we'll train the beans up the front of the hoop house. When planting beans without cover in May, sometimes the combination of cool weather and rain causes the seeds to rot in the ground. But it will be much warmer in the hoop house and we can manage moisture levels, so that shouldn't be a problem for us. And of course we'll have an earlier crop. Before leaving the hoop house, let's plant sugar pie pumpkins inside this cold frame. Once again, I'm planting seeds while the previous crop is still in the ground and we'll harvest this lettuce and kale to make room for the pumpkins to grow. Without protection, we'd plant about a week after the last frost, but we're planting three weeks before the last frost under double cover. Our goal is to have two plants, but I'm planting more than two seeds because the seeds are old and I want to make sure at least a couple of them germinate. We'll train the plants to grow over the top of the hoop house after removing the cover in May. Now let's plant cucumbers, zucchini, and kushaw squash in a bed that will cover with a double-layered hinge low tunnel. This bed doesn't get any sun in winter, but it's one of the sunniest beds in summer, which makes it a great place for cucumbers. We'd normally plant cucumbers about a week after our last frost, but we're planting them four weeks earlier than that under double cover. We've been using this approach to planting these summer crops for years now, and we've never lost any plants to the cold. But even if we did, we could easily replant after the last frost. It's a small risk I'm happy to take in return for earlier harvests. Now let's plant zucchini, which is normally planted after the last frost. In addition to earlier harvests, planting early gives the plants the chance to grow and mature before pests become a problem. For example, this zucchini plant will have time to become established well before squash bugs and squash vine borers are a problem. The last crop I'll plant early in this bed is Kushaw squash, which is a very large winter squash that we won't harvest until close to the end of our summer growing season. We enjoy this squash in a variety of dishes, but our favorite is Kushaw pie, which is similar to pumpkin pie. Now that I'm done planting the bed, I'll move a double-layered hinge low tunnel from another bed to protect our summer crops. The plants in the other bed are all cool weather crops that can handle a frost. If we have unseasonably cold weather or a significant snowfall over the next few weeks, we can always cover the bed temporarily with a low tunnel. This low tunnel is easy to vent because it's hinged, so we just have to prop it open on sunny days to prevent overheating. The low tunnel would be removed completely after our last frost, and we'll install trellises for the cucumbers and kushaw squash to climb. The last two crops I'm planting today are butternut and patty pan squash, which are normally planted after the last frost date. One of our old cold frames fell apart this spring, so I'm planting butternut squash under a plastic tote. I'll keep the tote in place until the plants emerge, then I'll vent as needed, and I'll remove the tote completely sometime after our last frost.
To wrap things up today, I'll plant patty pan squash in this old cold frame, which I made from scrap wood and an old storm window. As with the other crops, we'll vent as needed after the plants emerge, and we'll remove the cover sometime after our last frost date. With today's planting complete, we're now more than halfway done planting our garden. All that's left to plant outside are crops that we've started indoors, including tomatoes, peppers, basil, sweet potatoes, tomatillos, and eggplants. If you live in an area that has cold winters, you can use the same spring planting calendar that we use. All you have to do is make your own copy of the calendar and then enter your last frost date. I've provided a link to the calendar as well as instructions on how to use it in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to.